Isa sa mga hinahangahan ko sa inyo, yung inyo pong approach. Kaya tawag natin grassroots approach, eh, no? Yes. At uh, I think that ang hirap gawin dahil lima ay eh, may ilang barangay ba meron sa Pilipinas? Well, no, hindi. Uh, six, right? 64,000 something. Okay. 64,000 uh, 64, something barangay in, in the Philippines. Oh, now, papalo po ninyo, ito, gaya ninyo, gaya nito, no? Ito yung napakaganda, that self-empowerment, kailangan nung natin yan. And yung self-governance and na, self-determination. Na, self-determination. So, marami po itong elemento, marami po itong mga ingredient para ma-develop ang self-determination personal level pa lang, ano? Now, paano po ninyo ito pinaplanong isagawa? At tingin ninyo makakapture ninyo at least somehow mga 20% ng mga barangay sa buong Pilipinas o hindi nyo nga inaasam nyo? Alam mo, sa totoo lang, uh, Ka Anton, ito kasing aking gawain, hindi kasing aking personal ito. Sa just kasi ito eh. These are all under God's providence, God's intervention, and I only follow the rule of law. May batas lang ang lupa. May batas ang Republic of the Philippines na kanilang minamandato na hindi nila ginagawa. Meron ding batas ang international law which is the Treaty of Paris that the Treaty of Paris is already cancelled. Nakancel na po yan. Kasi ang Treaty of Paris, bakit nakancel yan? Dahil superseded sila sa Kingdom Filipinas and that it is now empowered by the sovereign nation. Now, kaya ang Treaty of Paris, which is the federal reserve system, yung yaman sa mundo that was created under federal reserve system was already redeemed and utilized by the Royal Sovereign Crown Bank, Kingdom Filipinas and the, and the OCT, Serwardas Corps, now is being used by the sovereign nation, Kingdom Philippines. Kaya ngayon, ito ngayon, we are now a nation. It is the nation who actually empower and superseded the Treaty of Paris, superseded the Republic Act 716, 8371, and also now promulgated the Constitution of the Holy Land as our kingdom. Iyon po ang ginawa ko. I follow the rule of law and all enacted existing law to be practiced, which supposed to be promulgated by the corporate president of the federal NGO Republic. Kaya gusto nilang gagawin ang, ang Pilipinas na federal Republic. Hindi po pwede yan kasi ang federal NGO walang, wala pong teritoryo po. Kaya mahihirapan talaga si Presidente. Kaya ang mangyari kan sa kanya talaga will be trason because he is now working and operating under China. So he has is more in favor of China than the Filipino citizen itself. Mali man yun. That is trason po under private property rights on the Filipino citizens. Yun lang po ang masasabi ko. But realize this, uh, Canton, President Duterte should appreciate what I do. And I, na, I never did exclude him. In 2016, I have all records that I am trying to give him, award him, grant him the entire Philippines except Region 10 because Region 10 is my possession as a host nation. Now, the Repub the rest of the, the country is I granted to him so that he will be a legitimate not president but I appointed him to become a prime minister because a sovereignty is no longer run by a president but a royalty and a prime minister. I have that on record and actually in that document that I awarded the president as 2016 of July 30, actually, I also said I will erase all the debt of the country. So then the country becomes debt free. This is what happened on RFID 666. Now, we have a big problem. 
If you want me to explain that, I can explain our effort. Yes, yes. Bago tayo dumako doon. Bago tayo dumako doon, may kwin. Meron muna tayong pakikita. Diyan po siya yung sovereignty po natin. Sa Kingdom Pilipinas siya hindi nag-i-issue na rin po ba kayo ng passport? Kaya yung nang nakikita na yan. Yes. At wala po bang reklamo? Well, uh, LPO, pag nag issue kayo ng driver's ah, license. Very good. Uh, okay, remember, okay. there is a law. Republic Act 386. This is civil code. The civil code, Republic Act 386, is a law that provides, that protects you, me, and the administration of our nation. So this is very important. Republic Act 386, Section 3, Article 3, it says, ignorance of the law excuses no one in compliance therewith. Now, there is another law in Article 428 and 429, ownership. I have the right to enjoy all everything that i have to create and besides whatever i create on this plate as you can see sovereign republic of the philippines where the plate of the corporate republic of the philippines is now black and white and then under the the, the number under their number there is a qr number if you want to digitize the qr number that is a Chinese character. China na po ang region sa Pilipinas using if we want to use the black and white plate. And if you can see the QR number, that is there is a QR number that is a Chinese character. Very, very uh, tragic. That is completely, we are being... Um, Invasion. Invasion. And you know, kita mo naman, kita mo naman, uh, Ka Anton, at one time, that was way back two years ago, if you remember, they even put uh, a banner in uh, one of the bridges in Manila. They said, region of China. And then another thing, last 4th of July also, this year, you know what happened? There are people selling flags. Chinese flags in in Manila, in Lunita. You know, and nobody filed a case. Nobody said anything. But then they are fighting against my banner, which is that banner symbolizes our culture, tradition, and as a sovereign nation. And and now they are being threatened. No, it is not. They've been threatened. It is the Chinese China that is in support because our barangay incorporated is supported by investor money. That is electronic currency, mm -hmm. digital currency, yeah. because they want us to be flooded with electronic digital currency and that is illegal in our country because we have our own currency. This is the gold dollar okay. certificate. Ah. Now, kung baga, it's a tail invasion na ginagawa ng China sa atin, ano? Yes. Eh, they eh, are going, they are doing behind, behind or back. No? Very subtle. Tama ka dyan. Very subtle. Okay. Unknowingly na, so, yun pala, invaded na tayo. Sorry uh, lang. So, meron na tayo, meron kayong, uh, meron ng ano, sa Kingdom Pilipinas, Shenda, bukod dun sa plates, no? Meron na rin, uh, Tribunal Bank. Tribunal so, Rural Bank. Bank. Yeah. Tribunal that's, Rural Bank. Yes, that's the People's Bank. Uh huh. Now, siyempre, pag may bank, may pera. Yes, of Now, course. meron kayo mga certificate of currency, currency certificate, ang tawag din dito, hindi, na then... Gold uh, dollar certificate. Uh, uh -huh, tapos, uh, hindi ba tawag dito, pera or... Pera pa rin. You can you can call you can they can call it pera, which people are used to, but that is a gold certificate, and in time they can also use that for gold exchange. Actually, it can be utilized in the right time. Right now, we are in.
transition. So we have to build this using the federal reserve system world settlement in the world in the in the in the world settlement in the book redemption of the treaty of paris because i already redeemed so i utilize that and the bank set over for them for for, for information including our gold uh bullion certificate be, before i okay. i sold it to public <laughs> Uh, ito mga currencies na ito ay eh, hindi ito uh, uh, um, sa supervision na nasa monitoring ng Central Bank. And ito yung nagsisirculate sa barangay level, tama po ba? Yes, because number one, Central Bank is a corporation. Central Bank, yes. Banco Central ng Pilipinas is no longer a central bank because they are actually, actually sold. Bininta na nila ang banko natin 1993. Kaya ang tawag, Central Bank of the Philippines. They are actually uh, a shadow. Uh, a shadow bank corporation which now owned by the by, by rich child. And, mm -hmm. and in, in, in the past, in the past, in the last, in early, er, early this month, uh, early this year or late last year, I was thinking that I would, in fact, I actually wrote it myself. I wrote Banco Central, offering them the gold bullion certificate for sale and also requesting them if I can use them as a fiduciary bank. So what is a fiduciary bank? A fiduciary bank is a trust bank. Now, I guess God doesn't want Banco Central to be utilized as bank in trust. Because in the past, they were already a trustor and a trustee. So Banco Central ng Pilipinas or Central Bank of the Philippines is the bank of all banks under hierarchy. Now, whereby the head of the central bank are governor. The governor is the head of the central bank. Now, and they are only a trustee and a trustor. Now, they are the bailor, the bailey, whereby I am the owner of the bank. It's big difference between a governor and the owner. I am the proprietor. I created this. And because this is what God told me, God doesn't want to allow that the Banco Central, now Filipinas, can still be my trustee. And I tried to use Deutschland too. I have that document from the Deutschland, Deutsche Bank, Deutsche Bank, and also uh, Citibank, that I, if I can utilize them as a trust bank. And a fiduciary bank but i guess god doesn't want to and i know why i know why god doesn't want the those banks because all the banks in the world are all cancelled too in fact this was said by uh by, by the commentators and by president trump uh peter seller uh, shift, better shift okay. also said this, and all banking mm -hmm. and even IMF. So they are all cancelled, mm -hmm. but what they are trying to work on is actually the digital currency. And this okay. has nothing uh, to do, do this has nothing to do with the gold.